Fishers Police Department tell me that this current stretch of Allisonville Road was not under construction during the time of the crash. But the people I spoke to out here in Fishers tell me that something needs to be done on this stretch of roadway to make sure crashes like yesterday do not happen again. It used to be two lanes. Now it's four, so um, you know, there's more traffic, but it kind of seems like it's moving more because there's four lanes, but you constantly hear people slamming their brakes on and um, it's scary. It's scary pulling out of here, especially going southbound. Sarah Mingus has lived in Fishers for the last 13 years. She describes hearing the crash. So I heard three, like four really loud bangs and it was like the loudest thing I've ever heard and I knew immediately something horrible had happened. So I called 911 and looked out on my deck and I could see a couple cars that were completely smashed. The three vehicle crash happening on Allisonville Road between 126th Street and Orchard Boulevard left one man dead and three others injured. Police say the driver of Jeep crossed the center line and hit the other two vehicles, killing one of the drivers. Sarah says her home backs up to Allisonville Road. She feels like improvements need to be made so crashes like Wednesdays don't happen again. I don't know what could be done, um, but I think with someone losing their life, people can look at that and see if there's improvements that could be made. Maybe that wouldn't happen again. Barbara Gilpin drives the same stretch of roadway daily. She feels like the improvements could be made as well. I have a hard time right here at this corner because there's kind of a dip in the road down there and the cars get in that dip and you really can't see them until they're kind of right up on you. I know I've several times had to slam on my brakes and back up, so it really does need a light. I asked the city of Fishers if they've gotten any comments or safety concerns from people who live in the community regarding Allisonville Road. They said they're not making any comments while the case is currently under investigation. Meanwhile, Sarah has a message to all drivers out there. I would say slow down, stay off your phones and pay attention to the roads and keep your family safe and other people's families safe. Working for you, Adam Shumes, WRTV.